An American living in the Bahamas who made it through Dorian facing yet another challenge. She could not find her passport or other important documents. Yeah, she was trapped in her home for days because of the dangerous storm surge. Local sense Hatzel Vela is live to continue our team's coverage. Hatzel. Nicole Calvin, imagine this. This is an 85-year-old woman named Virginia. She lives in a farm with her daughter and son-in-law. They say at one point there was 25 feet of water. She says it felt like a tidal wave rushing in. I didn't think we were going to survive. It's 2.42 p.m. The Learjet 35 lands at Fort Lauderdale Executive Airport with precious cargo on board. Trinity Air Ambulance evacuated the patient from Freeport. We are talking about 85-year-old Virginia Mossfold, an American with family ties to the Bahamas. Mossfold's daughter, happy to be here after a harrowing ordeal. They were trapped in their home for two days. We had to go up in the attic in a matter of minutes. Her husband is said to have used electrical wires to make a hammock so her mother could remain above the dangerous rising waters. We didn't know whether the roof was going to blow off or whether the water was going to keep rising. She was so dehydrated, emergency workers could not read her blood pressure and she has an infection on her leg. Once she is taken to the hospital, she'll have to get x-rays, an EKG and lab work to see what other troubles she may have. And Virginia was taken to Memorial Regional where she will undergo several evaluations on her health. As for her husband, not Virginia's husband, but her daughter's husband, her son-in-law, she's still on the island trying to get out. For now, reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News.